We are at Transport Ecology Tech with Mr. Michael May, Gate CEO. Michael, good to see you. Yeah, great to see you. Great to be here at uh, Transfer Tech. Gate is a very young company belonging to the Iveco Group. And we know it started le less than one year ago, so, I, so you are approaching the first year of your life. Can you please take stock of what happened so far and most of all, what's going to happen in the near future? Gate, uh, it's very excited to be part of this show. Yeah? And as you say, it's born just one year ago as a green and advanced transport ecosystem. So being part of this show and showing uh, the way that we can move to a new way for customers, it's important for us. Uh, you talk about what's next and how do we feel about Gate, uh, we're excited. Actually, we put a lot of effort into building a team uh, and building a platform and, and, and an ecosystem. So the work that we've done with a, a small team in a short amount of time has been really amazing. So we know that Italy is the first country where Gate is mm, active nowadays. Sure. Uh, what's going to happen in the future? Are you going to approach different markets and can you tell us where are you going to be? Yeah, for sure. Well, naturally for us, being part of Iveco Group, it's important that we pick the market where we're strong and where we have a strong network. So Italy was a natural choice for us, actually. And it gave us the opportunity to train and to really connect with customers, real customers, and ensure that the, f the systems and the features that we're building are appropriate for the platform that we're making. Uh, but we want to expand, yeah? We have a strong ambition to really change the industry and this is why in this year alone we will expand it to two further markets within Europe. So leasing or paper use can be quite innovative concepts and also require maybe some open mentality from the customers. How will Gate persuade customers to open their minds and then approach these new technologies for their business. Yeah, you're, you're right. It's a new way for customers to think. And this is part of the challenge, actually, for Gate, uh, is to really explain to people. And when we talk about new uh, technology, green technology, electric technology in particular, this is already a hurdle for people to overcome. Um, but the risks that are perceived by customers can be offset by gate. Uh, this is why we think it's the right model. And if you have a look into a lot of industries now, people are shifting from a capital intensive logic more to an access. So part of the message for gate uh, is to explain, as you say, to people how uh, they can get access to the latest technology and minimize the risk but also have flexibility. This is where Gate is quite unique. It has its uh, uh, like a paper use system to really align with the customer usage and these are the ways we're explaining it to customers but it is a, it is a process. Let's talk now about the ecosystem which is quite a keyword in the Gate proposition. Why is it so and why uh, partnerships are so important for the Gate business from now on? Yeah, for sure. It's uh, at the core of Gate actually is ecosystem because we believe that we will shift within the industry to this new subscription and access model and in doing so we really want to make it much easier for customers. So the effort we're putting into the platform and the system really simplifies it and to do that we need it to be all inclusive actually. And this is why we're focused on partnerships. Uh, we already have a number of strong partnerships, one obviously being with Iveco, uh, with Bridgestone for tyres, with WeFox and also with ChargePoint because our ultimate goal is to bring all of these challenges, be it infrastructure, maintenance, telematics, all of the things involved with operating a commercial vehicle into one point and one charge actually for the customer to make it really easy. So this is the core of the ecosystem logic. Mr. May, let's talk about e-mobility now, sure. another very important concept in the commercial vehicle business. What's your opinion on the future of e-mobility and of course what are the main obstacles and challenges for, for businesses and companies who want to approach another type of mobility? Yeah, sure. Um, 
I think that as the industry uh, transitions to uh, electric mobility and other types of green mobility, it's really a challenge. And it can't be, uh, let me say, treated just by the manufacturing OEM alone or a platform provider alone. Um, it needs to be a combination of uh, inputs and there are a lot of challenges as you say. One uh, is the regulatory environment, um, definitely infrastructure, particularly for electric vehicles in our cities here in Europe, it's quite challenging. Uh, and then understanding how you can tie all of these together with incentives at a government level. There's also politics at play, yeah, and particularly in the European Union now we're also waiting. So this is where actually GATE can show a real advantage because it can take away some of the risk with these variabilities and really link some of these challenges, be it regulation or infrastructure, to help these customers feel more confident and also with the confidence of new technologies yeah, and what's changing so fast in our industry. Mr. May, many times we've heard that uh, sustainability doesn't mean only electrification and, and many companies talk about multiple technologies or a multi-technology approach. Yes. Is the gate business model also prepared to support those companies who want to try, for example, hydrogen in the future or biogas or even biofuels such as the HVO and even more? Yeah. Look, uh, for sure, uh, GATE was born for green. So what's important to us is that we have a platform that is flexible, yeah? Because the technology in this space, it's moving really fast, actually. Um, so if, if a product is green in principle, our platform can manage it, yeah? And we have to be ready to adapt. So from a fuel cell perspective with hydrogen or now hydrogen combustion or biomethane, we have the possibility within our platform to build capability to handle this. Yes, absolutely. So the business model remains the same and it can be adjusted according to the single technology. Exactly right. The business model is the same. What can potentially change is the regulatory view on some of these fuels, actually. So this is where we want to be really uh, clean and green, um, and the governments need to make decisions about what they classify as green. Uh, as, uh, green. And this is a question from well to wheel, actually. So this is where our platform can handle it, uh, but we need the regulators also to understand what's uh, clean and what's green for our environment. Thank you very much for being with us, Mr. May. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it.